Hi, uh, this is Jeff from DC Honeybees TV, uh, DCHoneybees.com. I um, just wanted to point out or, or show you something really interesting. So um, the other day I moved some bees from um, no, let's show you from this hive, which was across the roof, and I pulled the frames off and put them in this hive, which was uh, which had uh, had lost its queen. And when I moved the hive, even though it was relatively early in the morning, there were a bunch of foragers that were um, looking to get back into this hive, which again was across the roof. Uh, when I came out the following morning, there was probably three or four hundred or five hundred bees just hanging out in this hive, looking dormant and dull and frankly dead. And I touched a few of them and saw them moving around a little bit. And so I poured them on top of this hive, just thinking, well, if they've got any kind of life in them. Oh, by the way, it had been cold that night. It probably had dropped down to about 47, 48 degrees. I thought maybe they were just dormant and quiet because of, um, because of the cold. And it looks like my suspicions were correct. The bees that I had poured on top are no longer there. There are some dead bees at the bottom of the um, hive which look um, like they may have been dead and there are some dead bees in this hive. But the, of the bees that I poured on top they're not there anymore. So, and by the way this hive has become very active and so I'm very pleased to see um, that these that these bees have um, taken on this new hive with vengeance, and as you, if you look at the, the hive opening here, there's a lot of activity. Now it is um, October 17th. We're having a rather warm day. It's probably in its mid 60s, but we need these bees to keep uh, keep foraging so that they can survive the winter.